my shirt today? I went to Target and bought like seven flannels. Got my shirt. It's stay another day. It's not sad. It's stay another day. It says it bigger on the back. It's from an old P.O. box opening, which is what we're doing today. You know the drill. If you're new around here, I need chapstick. And if you've been here before, my hair's down. I don't know why, it's just down. I'm just gonna turn this light off. Oh, now look how dark it is in here. We're drinking matcha. Mm. Most of what we're opening is Christmas cards. I didn't open from you guys. As always, I have a PO box. I'll put it in the description down below. Whenever people send me stuff, I write down the town or the country crazy where it's from and I put them on this big P.O. Box master list I have. This one says to the Snaps family, the familia from Jenna from Waco, Texas. Got Santa on the back. All kinds of Mary. That's cute. Oh, you cats. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, Christine, Mama Snaps, the Cactus family, Riley, and my be and beloved memory of Rascal. That's so nice. I'm so very sorry for the loss of your fur baby. May these photos of my orange boys bring you some joy from Jenna. And this is Connor and Brogan. Brogan the cat. Connor and Brogan. <laughs> I love that thing. Yeah. What a funny name for a cat. Brogan. My dog's still standing outside. Either someone forgot to let... Nope. Yep. And he just hit the door. This is from the Fishers, Summerfield, Kansas. This might be a wedding invitation. You can just like tell how it's packaged. What it might be. Oh, this is a Christmas card. Oh no, it's a wedding. I was right. I was right. The sunflower detail is cute. The celebration of the wedding of Nico. Cool name. And Samuel. April 15th. Oh, it's coming up. See, now I'm like ahead of the mail enough that all these weddings are coming up. I haven't missed them already. Ceremony in the backyard. Oh, that sounds intimate, fun. It's in Kansas? I like that. Oh, I got a note on the back. Christine, me and my fiance love your videos. They always make us laugh. Thank you for always being funny and making people's day, Nico and Sam. That's so nice. Congrats on the wedding. My neighbors got married in their backyard, but it like connects to our backyard. One day they just like set up a tent and then there's all these people. Then I look outside, like do do get my mail and there's a whole wedding party out there. Oh, you get married right here? That's so cool. Close to my, I feel like I'm ruining it just by being in my house that day. <laughs> Thank you for the invitation. It's from Amber, South River, New Jersey. Oh, we never had something from there. South River. These are the same stamps I used. This is a thick envelope. Thick boy. It says, let it snow on there. Christine, great handwriting, really. Christine wanted to spread some holiday cheer to some of my favorite TikTokers wishing you, that's so fun to like send <laughs> social media people Christmas cards. Wishing you and Alloy a happy holidays and happy new year, Amber. P.S. Thanks for all the laughs. You are welcome. This is an Amazon package, but it feels like just two rolls of something. Might be a lint roller, a bag of dog hair. Oh, love it. Oh my, is it two lint rollers? One lint roller, two refills with no note. <laughs> no, no. Have I been covered in dog hair lately? Have I been looking kind of shabby on them? Dog hair is just a part of my life. I work with dogs, but then Riley, I even put the car seat covers, like the nice ones in the car, and it's hard to get the dog hair out of the nice seat covers. So it's doing the opposite of what I need to. Lint rollers, thank you. I leave a lint roller. <gasps> well, I did. How did you know that I need? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I leave a lint roller literally on the shelf. So I got the backups. I got the backups for the backups. I could literally text someone and be like, you need a backup. When's the last time you refilled your lint roller? I could be handing these out like a hot commodity. Thank you. I just look like a different person when my hair is down. And it's so dark. Like that's like the normal color of my hair. This is what I dye it. <laughs> they wrote something and then they just put white out on it. So I don't know if you put the address wrong. You forgot my name. I don't know. It's good. Uh, San Antonio, Texas. This is from. It's another Christmas cooler. I don't think we sent out Christmas cards. My mom's like, I might do like a New Year's card. I was like, no one sends out New Year's cards. People barely send out the thank you cards from their wedding. Oh, this is fun. Cute. Oh my gosh. Look at these cutie patooties. The Porter family. Look at the dogs. Oh my God. And the people. Another dog. How many dogs are there? These all look like different dogs. That's the same one. That's one. That's two. But there's so many pictures of them. Christine, I had like 20 extra Christmas cards because I can't count, I guess. I don't know. I also can't write, hence the white out all over the envelope. <laughs> I didn't mean to call you out, but anyways, here's a useless card. Enjoy my cute dogs. Their names are Penelope and Pepper. Penelope and Pepper. Loved your videos for a long time. Thank you for being a light in so many people's lives. Happy holidays. Oh, that's so nice. Catherine with an E on the end? I kind of like that. K-A-T-H-R-Y-N-E. I've never seen it spelled like that. Happy holidays to you guys. Christmas cards, holiday cards, cards are good. You get a little glimpse into people's lives. You like forget that people got new dogs, had a baby cut people out of their lives. Three people are just X'd out in the Christmas photo. You're like, oh, that's something happened there. Sometimes you gotta be caught up. <laughs> Chelsea, Cypress, Texas. Wow, a lot of these come. There's a Midwest niceness. And then there's Texas Christmas cards. That's something else. <gasps> that's cute. Snow, ho, ho. <laughs> Why do I really like that? So, ho, oh, oh, ho, boom, boom, boom. Can read on camera, can read. Oh, thank you for the permission. Wishing you a Christmas filled with joy and laughter, Christine. Wow, good handwriting again. You have handwriting like they would have it like in a movie. Like they would scan your handwriting and make it a font. Love your videos and have been a subby. Love that, a subby for a long time. Your videos have made me laugh through some 
really depressing times. I'm so sorry you're going through that. You're not alone. Let me just reassure you right there. You really make the world brighter with every video. Love your P.O. Box videos most. Chelsea! Chelsea! Oh, I thought my tongue, I thought my tongue was red. Oh, it's just the crevice of my, you know how red it look? Uh, and then it's pale. I'm getting distracted. Chelsea, you made it into a P.O. Box video. This is, this is my favorite card so far. Snow, ho, ho, we don't want no snow, ho, ho. All the way from Texas. Thank you so much. Do you hear the sounds? Sounds like they wrapped this one in saran wrap. It's from Carbondale, Illinois. Not too far. This person also whited out my P.O. Box. Oh, it's just covered in glitter. That's why, <laughs> that's why it sounds like that. All is calm, all is bright. That's a cute image. The coloring is bad on the camera, but that's really cute. Little. Ice skater, what's that, a snow globe? No, it's just like a, oh, it's a tree. <laughs> my mom, for the longest time, we still have a box of them, takes people's Christmas cards and then just cuts out the front and like a little bit of like this white part and she cuts it out and then she'll make those the Christmas tags for the next year. Like when you get a gift and it says like to and from, she'll cut out your nice picture with a little bit of blank spot where you didn't write on your Christmas card and that's what she write to from. I just think it's funny because I'm like, those are, those are people's Christmas cards to us. I flip it over, it's like Jonathan got a new job and then lost his, Toe? Like, I, like, who is this from? <laughs> Anyways, Christine, I wanted to tell you that your page has brought me so much joy over the past few years. It is often the highlight of my day. You truly have a gift and are one of... That's so nice. You truly have a gift and are a wonderful person for sharing it with the world. May the true spirit of Halloween fill your heart and home. Sam and Bill. Merry Christmas from Sam and Bill. Sam and Bill. You need to be the one that writes the holiday cards. Listen to this. May the true spirit of Halloween fill your heart and home with joy today and into the coming year. I don't... That makes me feel good. <laughs> This sounds like the ending speech of a Christmas movie where they're like, everything is right. They saved the day. All the toys got delivered. And then Morgan Freeman comes on over the loudspeaker and the narration and goes, may the, the true spirit of Christmas filled their hearts with joy for the coming year. <gasps> Damn! And the credits start rolling. Great. Love it. Come in. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Sam and Bill. The card came with wishing you a little wonder in each moment and a lot of warmth and joy. So like, Sam wrote it a lot better. <laughs> Thank you. I think some of the sparkles from this that are falling off, I think one's in my eye. I got a sparkle in my eye. I got some joy in my eye. This one's gotta be a painting. And fun fact about this one, where is it? I was driving my coworker home from work at the dog daycare and he has a dog. What's in my matcha? Sparkles in my matcha? I was driving my coworker home from work with his dog. I mean, he put his dog in the back because he's a big dog. And I had like all of these in my back seat and I hear something rustling and I turn around and this dog is just sitting there nibbling on the corner of this. I think it's a painting because I can feel bad. Just nibbling on the corner of your package, Carlene. I am so sorry. It's not ruined. <laughs> I literally turned around and said, oh, I'm going to need that bag. And then he, he was like, Saka, what are you doing? <laughs> It's so cute though. Just like the most innocent little nibbling. It smells good. Carleen! Cave Creek, Arizona. I've never heard of that. Did you buy a painting? Did you make a bit? I can hear there's a card in here too. Oh, I love, wow. Look, what was the method here? How did you do that? I'm like immediately like, how did she do that? Look, Christine snapped. Bow, 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 bow. Splatter paint. I don't know how you did that. Maybe like a toothbrush. I like that. Not many people splatter paint something for me. Oh my God. They said, in case you forgot, it's Christine Snaps. Okay, orange card. Oh, orange piece of paper. Love it. Two tones of orange. Nice touch. Dear Christine, my name is Carlene and I'm a 31 year old special education teacher from Arizona. Thank you for doing that. Special education. I found your content at the height of the 2020 pandemic. I feel like I got sparkles on my nose. I haven't been able to stop since. Might want to see the doctor, get a prescription for that. You can't stop watching. I even get tired of them. Just close the laptop, go get a coffee. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Thank you for being authentically yourself. Your content brings so much joy to so many. Enjoy the canvas. Thank you. I will. I really want to, if you watch the videos, you said you did, but if you see the YouTube video, how'd you do this? I'm thinking paintbrush method. Love that. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now, BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into their network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just have to answer a couple questions about your needs and preferences in therapy and that way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist in their network. Then you can talk to your therapist any way that you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. Plus, you can message your therapist anytime and you can schedule your live sessions whenever it's convenient for you. And if your therapist doesn't happen to be the right fit for you, you can change your therapist to a new one at no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality that you'd expect from an in-office therapist, but with a therapist who's custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Christine Snaps. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Christine Snaps. I've also linked them down below in the description. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. We have a red card with some shiny tape. Who's licking envelopes anymore? We're done with that. Get it out of here. This is from Crystal, Ada, Oklahoma. Mm, 
There's a couple states we still have not hit for mail, but we never get nothing from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. That's cool. Oklahoma. This is a thick card. Oh my goodness. Does this hat make my head look big? That's so cute and funny. I have never seen a Christmas card like that. Does this hat make my head look big? If ornaments could talk. Oh my God. Look at the sticker. Sticker haul. Happy holidays, Christine. I have been a fan of yours since everyone has such good handwriting. You write like in all caps. Like your A's a capital. Your G's. Everything is capitals. Now that I'm looking. Your I's aren't. The O's not. The F isn't. How do you get handwriting like that? Your 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 vowels are capitalized. And then most of the other consonants. Consonants? Consonants? Continents. Consonants? Constipation? Consonants? Consonants. All the letters that aren't A-I-E-I-O-U. Why? <laughs> Let's get back to the letter. I have been a fan of yours since shortly after you introduced the world to Alloy the Cactus. You're, you know what's funny is people on TikTok and Instagram easily forget that his name is Alloy the Cactus named after allow soil. It's a whole joke if you're new here. But my cactus's name is Alloy. So many people on TikTok and Instagram don't know. They constantly call him Clover or like the cactus. People on YouTube, true fans. Like they're with it. They are here for the long journey, the long haul because they always say his name is Alloy the Cactus, which it is. I very much appreciate that. If I'm gonna write a letter, I'm gonna get it right. Y'all really paying attention. Your videos and vlogs are a wonderful mix of heartwarming and hilarious that brighten the day of so many people around the world, including myself. Your ability to share so honestly is one of the things that inspired me to be more truthful with myself, with my art. Look at that. I'm an illustrator, although I'm only recently began to call myself that. No, if you do it, that's what you are. Even part-time, even part-time. When I wanted to be a writer, I still do. But when I wanted to write like sitcoms and stuff, I started following a bunch of writers and they're like, if you write every day, you're a writer. Even if you ever get nothing published, even if nothing ever like makes it into a script screenplay they're like you are a writer if you write every day if you do it consistently you are one that goes for good and bad <laughs> habits i'm an illustrator although i've only recently been began to call myself no you're an illustrator cross out that last part of the sentence now that i've started making my art more public i wanted to share with you as a thank you for all the inspiration you've given me and other artists out there have a wonderful holiday season crystal whoa newt whoa newt is that your nickname whoa newt is the name of your company whoa newt illustrations you made these these are good you're good first of all this one on top true crime all the time I love that. This one is a heart cactus. Is it gonna storm outside? I don't know what this weather is doing. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Feeling cute? Might die later. <laughs> Oh, this one's cute. This reminds me of the fish from Finding Nemo. Got the glare. It says, find your light. A bunch of other ones. <gasps> These are yours? You're so good at it. You are an illustrator. I don't, know, I don't think you need the Christine Snaps stamp of approval, but thank you so much. Amazing. This is from Amazon. This feels like a big box. Oh, a, a mouse. Like a computer mouse. Plug and play wireless plus. Go. This package smells good too. Oh my God, it smells like laundry, a mouse. Now I'm trying to think if I ever said I needed a mouse. Are you seeing me struggling? I'm not upset. <laughs> What is this? And this is a snuggle blue spark. See, these are, is my nose bleeding? Oh my God, it is. Okay, I've been inhaling this. Don't inhale your dryer sheets. Oh my God, it's the mouse in the... <laughs> it's from the mouse video. Oh my, that's so funny. But my nose is bleeding, hold on. I. That's, mm -hmm. Don't mind. Just ignore it. I'm gonna ignore it. You can ignore it. Those smell so strong. There's no note. You're not gonna leave a note after such a funny gift like that. Oh my. Okay. The other day, <laughs> probably a while ago now, I made a TikTok of me ranting how I was, I was like, I was just talking to my mom. I'll just play you the TikTok. Shit you not. This is the conversation I just had with my mom. I just had this conversation. She woke up out of a nap or a coma. Who knows? And I come in the room. I'm over here. She's over here. Let's just play it out. I come in and go, oh my gosh, I have to go pack. I have to leave tomorrow. I don't have any videos to post. I don't have time to edit anything together. My mom goes, do you have any mice laying around? Oh, I'm, do I have any mice laying around? Like live mice? No, I just fed the last one to my pet anaconda. Fresh out of mice. Do you have any plastic mice? Like a prop. No, I don't have any. A couple of mice. A couple of plastic mice. I don't have any. No, I don't. Well, you could do the, you could do the, the dryer sheet and the mice thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What is that? That is... Is this going somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, well, you you could do this thing where you drop the dryer sheet and then you change your clothes and it's like a year later, <laughs> there's mice. And then you have to like shove another dryer sheet down the... Oh, what? Why? Mice don't like dryer sheets. It like deters them from being around. Is this an educational video? Is this a life hack? And this is... You know, you know what I do on the channel? I'm trying to be funny, trying to entertain the people. What is that? Why well, just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm just not gonna post, mom. I'm just not gonna post a video. I'm gonna make a video about us talking right now, but other than that, I'm not gonna post nothing. The lint and the mice dryer sheet, we'll put it on the backboard. On the back of the whiteboard that will never say, I don't know. 
I'm like, what are you, what are we talking, what are we talking, I literally just got up, and I floated to my bathroom, I said, I'm gonna make a video about this conversation, because I am confused of where this idea came from. <laughs> we back? That's so funny, they bought me a mouse, but not like a mouse, a mouse and the dryer sheets, because the dryer sheets will get rid of mice. Oh, that is such a good package. Good for you, that is genius. This is from Victoria, San Antonio, Te Texas. What is going on? Y'all just don't have the winter and the snow, so you just keep sending out Christmas cards? Oh, just a handwritten note, and something's in here. <gasps> Stickers. Oh, we got pages of notes in here. I know this is a long letter, so you can read the whole thing on camera or just certain parts. I'll let you decide. Three pages of handwritten, and your handwriting is consistent. Look at that. Oh, that's fun. Looking sharp. Oh, there's cactus ones. Are they all cactus ones? Oh, they're like black and white cactus ones. That's different and fun. Mental health is just as important as physical health. Love that. This one says you can do hard things. Things. Yes, I can. Here, let me take a good pick. Looking sharp, wild and free. That one's running. Love you, prickle. <laughs> now I just sound nasally because of the damn tissue. Hi, Christine. My name is Victoria, and I live in San Antonio, Texas, but I'm originally from the Chicago suburbs, area like you. The letter is so long overdue. I've been watching your videos since Alloy came along. See, y'all know who I'm talking about. And I'm barely sending you this letter. Sorry about that. I can be very lazy at times. Can't we all? I'm 22 years old. Actually, by the time you read this, I'll be 23, but the point is that happy belated birthday. But the point is that we are close to the same age. I'm working in mental health hospital and I'm passionate about raising mental health awareness and helping others in any way possible. Hence the stickers. Love the stickers. Since my early teenage years, I have battled with serious can't talk. I have battled with severe depression and anxiety. A couple of months ago, I was in the hospital after attempting suicides. At the time, I had been unemployed for several months, had no money, didn't have a car, felt trapped in my house, and ultimately had no hope for myself or the future. However, all of that has changed for the positive. I am so glad that you're still here. And I know that depression depression, anxiety, and all the hardships of life very much stack up on you. So I'm, I'm glad you're here. And I'm even more proud of you that you're going into the mental health field. You want to raise awareness for it. That is amazing. Everything's changed for the positive. Like I said, I now work at a mental health hospital and I'm making my way to becoming financially stable. Good for you. Got my car back in the working condition. There you go. I just got to take you from A to B. I don't need a radio, a heat, or nothing. And am altogether doing, doing much better. Thank goodness for the support of my family or else I never would have made it through. While I was in the hospital, I had no access to my phone, internet, or pretty much anything. Oh, books, baby. <laughs> One of the things I look to when I'm having a bad day or feeling really sad is something to make me laugh. I miss watching, same. I miss watching TV, reading my books, and watching cute, funny TikToks like yours. You couldn't even read books? How can you can't read books? Sorry, I'm getting hung up on the books. So whenever I watch your YouTube videos, I catch myself using them as an escape at times that make me only focus on the video instead of stressing or worrying about everything going on in the real world around me. I do the same thing with the stuff that I watch and the media. My point is, is that you make a difference. That's very nice. I know I'm just one person telling you this and you've received hundreds of letters saying similar things, but I want to make sure you really know. <sighs> with all the craziness going on in the world, being able to escape for one, 10 or 20 minutes to watch one of your videos has the power to change someone's entire day. It's happened to me several times and I know it happens to many others as well. Please never stop making videos. We have a whole other page to read. You can't cry in the middle of it. But more importantly, never stop being you. There's a plane going by right now. <laughs> I hope I was able to bring some of that joy to you with this letter. Yes, of course. Especially after all of the smiles that you've brought to me. Well, you're bringing the tears, but that's, they're good tears. Keep being you and never forget that you are not alone and you are so loved. And you're not alone either. Thank you. We're never alone. There's always someone going through similar stuff and that understand what we're going through. <sighs> okay, I need to Sincerely, your forever fan, Victoria. Victoria, thank you so much for the letter. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that you are here in the world. I'm glad that the videos help you and make you laugh and bring you some relief and joy and whatever else they do for you. I really appreciate it. And I, again, I love that you're working at a mental hospital because people who have been through the thick of it understand mental health the most and can be the most helpful. That was a heavy one, but in a good way. You know what I'm talking about? Like that was... I needed that. It's from the McCoy family. Delavan, Illinois. Delavan, Delavan. I've never been there. <laughs> oh, oh my God. What, you got three dogs and a baby? And he's got a man bun? Oh, and Riley's here. <laughs> Hello, to Boopy Boppy. You can't come in and not be in the video. Everyone saw you outside when you were just looking around, waiting for someone to let you in. You've been sleeping 99% of the... Okay, should I put you down? You got stuff to do? Blazes to nap? Okay, hold on. 
I know, it smells good in here. Okay, bye. It's so dark outside, we lost the light. No one pops that door open faster, harder, and more certainty than that dog. He poop pops it open. I'm like, dearest wishes for Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, the McCoys. Andy, Ashley, Sadie, ha Haley, Aspen, and Blake. I don't know which ones are the dogs. Andy and Ashley must be you and you. Look at the family pictures. Oh my goodness. Oh, the baby's in the picture. <gasps> you got all types of dogs. Look like huskies. That one looks like a husky mix. And that one looks like a retriever mix. Christina, I've been a huge fan since your first got alloy. Every single person has been on the money today with the name of the cactus. I find myself saying we've got plants <laughs> way more often than is normal. Thank you so much. We got plans. Thank you so much for all of your videos for being so funny and goofy. You helped keep me awake during late nights and early mornings with my new baby eight weeks old when these photos were taken. Eight weeks. Holy, that's two, two months. <laughs> I don't know time. That's two months. Why is my face so close to the camera? I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas from Ashley. Okay, so Ashley's a mom. You have a beautiful family and these pictures are cute as hell. I don't know how you got everyone to look in the camera. All the dogs are looking. Cute, cute, cute. Happy holidays. Okay, one last package because the sun's going down. This feels like there's literally nothing in here. Maybe some good air. That's nothing. <gasps> it's another thing of mice. <laughs> it's two packages of mice off of that video. Wow, look, they couldn't even take the time to cut the thing. A gift for you. Enjoy your gift. That's all it says. Okay, whoever sent me these. <gasps> look how many mice we got. Value 10 pack. And these are the colorful ones. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for the packages, but more importantly, the letters, the sentiment, the knowing, the cactus's name. Sorry it's so dark. Sorry I got a nosebleed. Tis life. Uh, stay ha happy. I say stay happy. Stay happy, healthy. Have a great week. Take your vitamins. If you don't know which vitamins to take, like me, just drink a lot of water. Hope for the best. Get a cup of coffee. Take yourself for a walk. I don't have any other advice offhand. Watch the sunset. Sunrises are hard. You gotta get up super early, but you can usually catch a sunset. You know what I'm saying? Like, I walked past my window the other day, caught the sunset. I was like, oh. Caught some happiness. Got it. Took a picture. Looked back up. It was gone. 